kids, my name is Joycey Horsey. Are you ready to read with me? Yes, yes, yep, yep, yes! Yep, 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 yep. Okay, let's go! Before we begin our story, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Today, we are going to read the book, Bedtime Without Arthur. Are you ready? Let's begin! Bella has a bear, a very special bear called Arthur. He is as brave as a knight. He is as strong as ten elephants. And he does karate. When Bella sleeps, Arthur is busy. He guards the bed and keeps away monsters that come sneaking from the shadows. Saving her bed, Bella dreams of her favorite things like rainbows and rainforests. One morning, Arthur was worn out from so much karate. Bella made him his favorite breakfast of toast and honey and then tucked him up snug in bed. That evening, when the moon had risen full and white, Bella went to her room to give Arthur a slice of pizza for supper. Bella pulled back the quilt and yowled. Arthur! He was gone. Bella searched and searched. Bella's mom looked upstairs. Bella's dad looked downstairs. Bella's brother Finley looked worried. None of them could find Arthur anywhere. Mom said, We'll find him tomorrow. Dad said, He'll turn up. Finley said, Sorry. But Bella didn't believe them. Her lip trembled as she climbed into bed. Bella couldn't sleep. She was sure there were monsters watching and waiting. Bella squeezed her eyes shut tight. She fell asleep, dreaming of fire-breathing dragons, slugs, and grizzly bears. In the morning, Bella was exhausted. She couldn't juggle. Even the ice cream didn't cheer her up. And at bedtime, there was still no sign of Arthur. The wind began to blow and howl. Bella woke with a start. She saw things looming and scratching at the window. Bella leapt out of bed and ran as fast as she could across the hallway into her brother's room. Finley was sound asleep. Bella began climbing into his crib. Peeking from under the blanket, she saw the tip of a soft furry nose. It was Arthur. Bella was so happy to see him. But she was very angry with her brother for taking him. She grabbed Arthur and started back to her room. Left all alone, Finley was afraid. Monsters! He cried. Bella pretended not to listen. Serves him right! She thought as she reached the door. Bella looked back at her brother. She saw Finley's eyes, wide and full of tears, and her anger melted away. Bella realized that Finley needed Arthur more than she did. Finley wasn't nearly as strong and brave as she was. Bella took Arthur back to Finley and tucked them both up in bed. Don't be scared, Finley. Arthur will look after you. Bella felt braver and braver with each step she took back to her room. 
when at last she climbed into bed, Bella felt as brave as a knight. All the monsters shook with fear and fizzled into nothing. That night, Bella slept long and deep and dreamed of all her favorite things. And so did Finley. Thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button. See you next time. Bye.